Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we're going to be reviewing CyberHive. CyberHive is developed by Blazing Planet Studio and published by Samarosti. It is $8.99 on Xbox, and this is a strategy game. It's also an idea to Xbox game. So this particular game, you play as a, some characters, and you're going to have to utilize bugs in order to, uh, in a bug universe, in order to fly your ship throughout the universe. To solve these, uh, this campaign, uh, and you have to find these uh, different uh, items that are going to help you do that. You also need to level up your different bonuses so that you can uh, get farther and farther each playthrough. Uh, this particular game has a lot of different ideas and options and how you can play the game. It is actually kind of simple, but it's also extremely difficult in my opinion. Um, some of the difficulty has to do with the fact that you just run out of power too quickly in some places and it's not immediately obvious how to deal with that uh, going through the game. Maybe they need to make some adjustment with that. I just couldn't, I tried five or six different strategies and couldn't really find a good way to really just up how much power I was having and bringing in the ship on each turn. Um, however, there are some things that you could probably do and that I could try probably in the future that will make it a little bit easier. I still found it was pretty difficult, even on the easiest difficulty setting and in survival mode, to retain any amount of power that was going to keep you going. Um, overall though, the game itself is fun. It is an interesting little strategy game, and, but once you do figure out this, you know, a good strategy, it's probably going to feel too easy. Um, however, like I said, I didn't really have that issue because uh, I kept running out of power but I felt like I did everything else really well and getting a lot of the bonuses is quite easy because this requires you to play the game and even if you lose then you just start over and go on um, there are a few chapters in the game and like I said it is a little bit difficult to get through the chapters but uh, it's an easy enough you know game to play and just kind of once you learn the strategy I'm sure some people will put some strategy guides out in the future which will help uh, really boost the game itself and get it make it so that you can really figure it out however like I said once you do figure out certain things it makes it super easy and uh, you know once you figure out like any, a particular option like so like a thing happens in the game for instance like the bugs like a bug asks to uh, uh, seek refuge on, a sh on your ship and then bring a friend aboard without telling you uh, what happens there uh, will always happen every time, so if you want a different outcome, you can make different decisions. And once you've gone through that once, you can figure out what you need to do to, in order to succeed in that. So there's little things like that that are going to make it super easy, just kind of on the repetitiveness of playing the game. But overall, I felt like the game is fun enough. If you like strategy games, you'll probably enjoy it, especially trying to figure it out. But if you do like use a guide or something, that's probably going to make it too easy. Uh, but overall, like I said, it's probably worth the money i think uh though this story is kind of short so just keep that in mind uh but their gameplay itself you know to get all the upgrades and stuff is gonna require quite a few gameplay quite a few runs of the story and also playing in survivor so just keep that in mind if you do pick it up that's pretty much all for this one uh thanks for liking commenting, subscribing and have a nice day guys